So this is uh, my talk called Extracting Semantic Information from Online Art Music um, Discussion Forums. Um, this is uh, an outline of the presentation. First I'm going to introduce the concepts of uh, online communities and user-generated content. And I'll briefly mention some related work. Then I'm going to talk about the methodology we defined to extract semantically meaningful information from online forums. And then I, I will just comment on some conclusions and some ideas for future work. Um, well, as you can see in the abstract, in the, the program which I gave you before, understanding music requires also understanding how people perceive music, how they consume it or enjoy it, and how they share their tastes among other people. Uh, the online interaction among users results in the emergence of, of uh, online communities. But what is an online community? There are several definitions of an online community, but the one that is closest to what we understand by online community is, was given by uh, Stanoevska Slaveva, and it says, a persistent group of users of an online social media platform with shared goals, a specific organizational structure, community rituals, strong interactions, and a common vocabulary. So by a media platform, we can talk, for example, about music blogs, uh, social websites like YouTube or uh, discussion forums, and these are all known as uh, user-generated content. So, the aim here is by mining user-generated text content, one can uh, obtain music-related information that otherwise cannot be obtained from the audio or symbolic score presentations. In this work, we propose a method to extracting music-related semantic information from an online music discussion forums. So basically, Extracting semantic information from online forums has been already done somehow, but only in text mining. In music information retrieval field, there has been work on mining user-generated content, like for example, review, or record reviews, blogs, social tags, web documents. But to our knowledge, this is the first approach dealing with an online discussion forum. So this is basically the the method that we have followed, it consists of four steps, or let's say there is a pre-step and three steps of uh, the methodology. The first, or the step zero, is the dictionary dev definition. So by dictionary definition, we define the, the dictionary as a flat taxonomy of category dash word from music brains. So we get all the information that is per song, composers, lyricists, recordings, works, or intra-song information like ragas, talas, makams, usuls. And we also use information from DBpedia. DBpedia is uh, a database of structured uh, machine-readable descriptions of articles in Wikipedia. So for example, let's say this is an example of, of how uh, categories are defined for Carnatic music in DBpedia. So we start from the seed category Carnatic music we can explore this database and go to the subcategories, for example, Carnatic Ragas, music terminologies, compositions, musicians. There even are sub subcategories like instrumentalists, singers, composers, and at the end, the leaves are um, articles in Wikipedia. Like uh, there is an article about Bhairavi and about the Mridangam instrument. So basically, we combine the information from Music Brains and Wikipedia to f create a dictionary of terms in this way. This is an example of how the, the dictionary is, uh, is formed. It's a category and the term. For example, Raga, Bhairavi, Makam, Hejaz, and so on. Once we have this dictionary, our goal is to match this dictionary with the text from forum posts. So one way to do it is by tokenizing the text and performing some part of speech tagging uh, techniques. 
let's say for example this, uh, this is a forum post and uh, let's take for example this sentence the difference between Avery and Deva, Deva Gandhar so a part of speech tagging technique what does it analyzes syntactically a sen the sentence and say that this is those are nouns this is a coordination conjunction a preposition and a determiner so once we uh, perform these natural language techniques we match our dictionary, dictionary with uh, these, uh, these sentences for example in our dictionary we could uh, match these two words but we also considered nouns and adjectives for example we also matched difference all the rest of the words that were not matched are marked as non-eligible words and I will explain later why we call them like that so once we match our dictionaries and the nouns and adjectives in this forum post we create or we generate an, uh, an undirected weighted network representation of this text where the nodes are the terms in the dictionary plus the nouns and adjectives as I said and then the edges are created between two terms if the two nodes are closed in the text but what does closeness mean here? closeness means if the two words how many words in between you have so for example in this case Averi and Devangadaram are two words it's like one and two or we consider it one plus one the different the distance between difference and Devangaram will be one two three one two three four and this is what we call link threshold so this is one of, para of the parameters of our algorithm the problem is that this step uh, produces a very dense network you can't see anything right because it's uh, there are m m more edges than the nodes in this network so basically the problem of this network is that it's very dense there is a, it's a large number of edges per node and it has a lot of uh, spurious names and adjectives and some possible solutions to uh, filter this uh, network is by removing less frequent terms so that's how we include or we def define a new um, parameter called frequency threshold so for example we can say that words that appear less than five times in the forum post don't consider them and then even though that the network is still if it's still um, dense you can apply disparity filter which is a filter that just uh, removes irrelevant uh, edges in the network sorry As a, uh, summarizing this uh, third step imagine that we have this uh, dense network with a specific link and frequency, uh, frequency thresholds we can uh, filter it to this and when we apply the disparity filter now the network seems nicer right and we can see the nodes and the, and the network <laughs> and the edges sorry uh, once we have this network we can apply network analysis uh, measures such as uh, centrality which measures the relevance of nodes inside the network and there are many different uh, ways to measure centrality and for the edges we can define uh, the frequency of the edges how many times an edge uh, how many times two words are closed in the text and the relevance is how relevant is that edge in the network compared to others and obviously there are other types of measures like for example uh, obtaining semantically connecting terms like when we see the word guru and then two names of composers of or uh, performers we can decide if one is the, the guru of, of the other uh, performer so we basically tested our uh, method in rasikas.org a Carnatic music online uh, discussion forum uh, some statistics of this uh, forum are displayed here so first of all there are 20 sub forums and they include 16,000 topics almost 200,000 posts 
and these are other, as you can see here, even though there are 16,000 topics, only 1,300 have been active in the last 12 months, which means only uh, 1,300 have had at least uh, five posts in the last 12 months. Or also it happens with users, even though there are 4,000 users, only 1,000 of them are, have been active in the last 12 months. And please consider that was, these statistics were uh, gathered in March 6th. One thing is that not all the subforums are of our interest because there is a subforum in Rasikas.org that talk, uh, talks about Hindustani music. So if we want to analyze Carnatic music, we are not going to, to use this uh, subforum. So we basically selected a subset of 11 subforums which included 14,000 topics and 170,000 posts. And we finally generate the network following all the method that I described. And so let's just see how the network is. And while, when we have this network, we compute these uh, network analysis measures. In the first experiment, we uh, calculated the node between the centrality. So in this sense, we can say that these nodes, these terms were the most relevant in the in the forum, uh, I'm not very expert in Carnatic music, so I just mentioned some of them. If you think I'm wrong, please correct me. Kalyani and Bhairavi, we can consider them as two frequent terms uh, used by performers in order to do a, a ragam tanam palavi. Or, for example, ragamaliga is not a is not a raga per se, but it's uh, more a a combination of uh, of more than a raga in a single in a single comp composition. But sometimes it, pe people in Rasikas, they end up just saying Ramagamalika instead of all the ragas that the, are part of this Ragamalika. Canada is a very uh, ambiguous term because it can be a raga, but at the same time, it's the language of uh, the state K Karnataka. And basically, for example, in other um, categories, Purandaradasa is considered the father of Carnatic music. Tiagaraja's compositions are uh, a very important part of the, the Carnatic music repertoire. And Papanasam Sivan uh, is, is considered um, like a, the Tiagaraja of uh, Tamil Nadu state. And uh, from discussion that I had with, uh, with Gopal and uh, Hema, it told me that m many of the, the users of Rasikas.org are from the Tamil Nadu state. In the second experiment, we dealt with term concurrences. So how concurrent are two terms, which means how many times two uh, terms have uh, an edge. In this case, we only analyzed the performer instrument pairs. So we wanted to extract which is the instrument of uh, a performer. In this case, instrument, we also considered vocalist as, a, as an instrument. So we defined the two configurations of our parameters. This is actually the one we followed, but this is just as a comparison. So we could match 104 performers and 63 performer instrument uh, pairs. And from this 63, 95 were correct. And we checked it out with our, our uh, uh, data. Was in the case of when we increase the link threshold. Remember, the link threshold means the distance between two words in the in the forum post. This hit drops down, which means that we are adding uh, noise to the network. So this was about frequent concurrences. But what about relevant concurrences? Many uh, edges are not always. If if the edge has a, a high weight, it doesn't mean that it's relevant to the network. We have to compare it to other. Uh, edges in the network. So basically, this is relevant concurrences between different ragas and raga composer pairs. And we actually look back at uh, the Rasikas discussion forum to, to understand why these uh, ragas were uh, paired together. And for example, the case of uh, Bhavani Bhavapriya. If I'm not wrong, Bhavani is how Dikshit our disciple uh, called Bhavapriya Raga, and this this Raga Kalavati and Yagapriya. Let me just, if I have one minute, I can show you the discussion in Rasikas.org. 
So there is, for example, one user that says, Yagapriya is referred to as Kalabati under the Sampurna Mela naming convention that Dikshitar used. They both refer to the same media. Yagapriya is correct, blah, blah, blah. But then Ashwin, which I thought it was Ashwin who was here, said that this statement will be true if Yagapriya is in fact quite distant. The thing I want to mention is that our method allows us to find discussions in the, in the forum but it's not aware that they are in fact discussions. So this is one of the things that we are uh, thinking of how to do it in the future. So finally this is the, the last experiment. It's about term semantic relations. So we explored uh, the forum to find relations between two terms. Um, for example, uh, related to the musical influence. This here I don't know what happened here, but it should have said guru and disciple and the family relations like father, mother, uncle, son and from a total of 24 relations that we could match in, in, Karnat, in this uh, forum 14 of them were uh, correct so for example here um, I really don't know what happened in this slide anyway for example, those were correct um, relations that we could find between two different uh, performers or composers. And the wrong ones was that, for example, in Palgat Ragu example, I will just read uh, a sentence. Abhishek is grandson of Palgat Ragu and disciple of P.S. Nayaranas Fami. So the system got wrong of assigning the word disciple from Palgat uh, Ragu to Nayaranas Fami. Well, to summarize, uh, we presented a method for extracting musically meaningful semantic relation uh, information from online discussion forums. First, we defined a dictionary of uh, art music tradition terms. We generated a directed weighted network of these uh, forum posts, where the notes were the matched dictionary terms plus nouns and adjectives, and the edges were the relations of closeness between these two, between pair of terms. And we finally analyzed the, the network from the node relevance, term concurrences, and term semantic relations. We're currently doing some work, and it's a work on, in pro progress that I, I just don't have the results yet, but it's already processed. So first, we, we want, wanted to compare network structure, the network structure of this Carnatic Music uh, Forum with uh, the Wikipedia articles, so for example, this is uh, the Wikipedia art article about uh, Lal Gudiya Yayaraman. And for example, we could follow these links and create another network of Wikipedia uh, uh, pages and see if there is any correlation of what is uh, said in, in Rasikas. Another experiment is we wanted to create communities of terms of our concepts, so like which uh, composers are related to which performers, ragas, and so on. And here, just to mention some uh, ideas for future work. So one is like we want to, to take contextual information into account. Uh, like for example, detect when are the musical seasons. Uh, we want to use more sophisticated NLP techniques, capture user opinions using some uh, semantic uh, or these techniques called uh, there you go. Sentiment analysis, sorry. And we want also to filter forum by user relevance because we think that there are many users that are not relevant to the, the, the discussions in, in Rasikas. And finally, we are planning to use more complete dictionaries and ontologies. So this is basically the uh, list of references and uh, that's it. Thank you very much.